Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Captain Hartsock, and I'll be your narrator for today's event. On behalf of, on behalf of the men and women of the 62nd Operation Support Squadron, welcome to today's change of command ceremony. Please silence any electronic devices at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party, presentation of the colors, and the singing of the national anthem by A1C Connor O'Hare. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the official party for today's ceremony. Commander, 62nd Operations Group, Colonel Sergio Anaya, accompanied by his spouse, Angela. Outgoing Commander, 62nd Operations Support Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Thackerberry, accompanied by his spouse Jane, his children Ian and Caitlin, his father John, his brother Major Tim Thackerberry, with his wife 
Liz, along with Jane's parents, Bill and Deborah Peterman. Incoming Commander, 62nd Operations Support Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel T. Jeff Henderson, accompanied by his spouse, Jackie, his daughter, Henley, his mother, Lori, and father, Terry, and his grandmother, Marlene. At this time, At this time, I'd like to introduce the distinguished guests joining us for today's ceremony. Commander, 62nd Airlift Wing, Colonel David Fazenbaker, accompanied by his wife, Amber. Vice Commander, 62nd Airlift Wing, Colonel Brian Collins, accompanied by his wife, Melissa. Commander, 627th Air Base Group, Colonel Patrick O'Sullivan. Representing the Superintendent, 627th Air Base Group, Chief Master Sergeant Rohan Ald. Superintendent, 62nd Operations Group, Chief Master Sergeant Toby Thompson. Commander, 62nd Maintenance Group, Colonel Aaron Sasson. Representing the Superintendent, 627th, I'm sorry, 62nd Maintenance Group, Chief Master Sergeant Daniel Humbert. We would also like to extend a welcome to squadron commanders, chiefs, superintendents, first sergeants, members of the 62nd Operations Support Squadron, along with many family members and special friends of both Lieutenant Colonel Thackerberry and Lieutenant Colonel Henderson. On behalf of the 62nd Operations Support Squadron, thank you all for joining us today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'd like to, to welcome the commander, 62nd Operations Group, Colonel Anaya. Uh, well, somebody once told me that uh, flexibility is the key to our power. Um, I still wonder what that means, but uh, thank you very much for being here. Uh, it wouldn't be a military event with something on a little of a curveball for, for everybody, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but Neil, honestly, thank you for being here and joining us for this special occasion. Uh, Colonel Faisenbaker, thank you for, for taking the time for being here. Colonel Collins, uh, Colonel Sullivan, Colonel Sasson, um, Commanders, Chiefs, and First Sergeants, thank you for joining us today. I would also like to welcome the families, uh, Colonel Thackeberry's family, wife Jane, Ian, Caitlin, Father John, brother Major Thackeberry, and his wife Liz, and his Jane's parents, and Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Henderson's family, uh, wife Jackie, daughter Henley, mother Lori, and father Terry, and last but not least, grandmother Marlene. Thank you very much for being here. I would also like to thank Colonel Sanson and his team and the maintenance team because they work day in and day night uh, moving aircraft and making this happen to ensure that they look up to par. So this is a memorable experience for all the families. So I really appreciate all of that. And for the rest of the team that make this thing happen, the planners, the entire protocol team, our narrator, and everybody else. You know, thank you so much. It is an honor for me to be part of this ceremony. Change of commands are always bittersweet, and this will be no different. For the last two years, Colonel Thackeberry has led our larger squadron, the 62nd Operations Support Squadron, consisting of 277 officers, civilians, and enlisted with a unique background, 11 different specialty codes, which is very unique to that specific squadron. The lineage of the 62nd Operations Support Squadron goes back to the days of World War II. Its primary, its primary mission is the integration, training, planning, and operations in support of the flying squadrons, the 446 Airlift Wing, and the Western Air Defense Vector. For the past two years, Colonel Thackeray has done that and much more. During his tenure, as some of you already know, the runway collapse, which is a pretty big deal for an airfield that has essentially one runway. But he directed an emergency closure of that runway and ensured that we have a display stress within 48 hours to make sure that operations can continue. Um, he also oversaw runway operations, uh, two massive runway reconstructions, were totaling $135 million. His leadership was also instrumental to leading and implementing the Air Mobility Commands Sorry based training, which is a different way of us preparing for peer power competition. It's a program that 
focuses more on quality over quantity. He also led our flying program worth $425 million, which consisted of almost 2,500 missions, accounting for 31% of the C-17 airlift in Air Mobility Command. Make no mistake, this group, this wing, we couldn't have executed this, our mission, without the Operation Support Squadron and without your leadership. To Jane, Ian, and Caitlin, I mentioned this because no one would understand better than you, as a family, as a team, what goes behind supporting Colonel Thackeberry through these difficult times. This was a team effort, and for that I ask you to please join me with a round of applause for the family. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Thackeberry, or known as Thack, you will be missed. In the short time that I've been here, I can tell how much your fellow commanders will miss you and how much they appreciate you. I'm extremely happy for you and your family for your next endeavor to Italy. You deserve it. It won't be long until emails or phone calls from me will soon be replaced with tours of the Colosseum, the Sistine Chapel, and beautiful dinners by the countryside of Italy. Thank you for everything that you did at McCord. Unfortunately, I was not, I was not able to attend your going away party, but I want to present you for something from the uh, operations group, the commanders, the sergeants, the chief, and everybody else. Do you mind joining me, please? <laughs> Jeff, I know this sounds like really big shoes to, to fill. They are. But I know you are more, more than up to the task. Jeff comes to us from the Pentagon with a distinguished record. Most recently, he served in the Air Staff, where he was a Deputy Chief of Air Campaign Analysis Division. You authored papers that went to the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, and you completed studies on explorer palletized munitions, on options on fort design that made it to the Secretary of Defense. For your efforts, he, he was, you were recognized as the Field Grade Officer of A-9, which is, a small, which is no small feat. Your senior radar at the Pentagon reached out to me on my, on my way over here, and he described you as a top quality leader, an impressive troubleshooter, with a keen analytic mind, and above all, he said it was a privilege for him to have you as part of his organization. I think there's no better compliment that somebody can give you than that. Jeff's past experiences include a civil engineer, a C-17 instructor pilot, the chief of the wing exec, and wait for it, the operations officer of an operations support squadron. You're the perfect fit for this organization, for this squadron. You're the perfect fit for this organization. And now you'll be close, you'll be part of these close need of squadron commanders, which are considered the cream of the crop of Air Mobility Command. To his wife, Jackie, daughter Henley, thank you for all your support and for sharing your husband and your dad with us. Once again, Welcome to the 62nd Operations Group family. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Naya. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Colonel Naya presents the Meritorious Service Medal to Lieutenant Colonel Thackberry. Attention to orders. Citation to accompany the award of the Meritorious Service Medal, Second Oak Leaf Cluster to Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Thackerberry, 16 April 2019 to 18 June 2021. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher M. Thackerberry distinguished himself in the performance of outstanding service as Commander, 62nd Operations Support Squadron, 62nd Operations Group, 62nd Airlift Wing, Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington. During this period, Colonel Thackerberry led a diverse squadron consisting of 277 officers, enlisted, and civilians, spread across eight flights and including 11 unique Air Force specialty codes to provide superb operation support to the wing's mission. He executed the wing's $425 million per year flying, flying hour program, tasking over 5,200 global missions and delivering over 31% of all C-17 airlift worldwide. Furthermore, after directing an emergency closure of the runway, Colonel Thackerberry coordinated and executed a displaced threshold in under 48 hours, allowing critical airlift operations to resume. 
He then oversaw construction to repair the damaged runway, teaming with the Army Corps of Engineers, the Department of Public Works, and the Civil Engineering Squadron to successfully complete the $96.4 million emergency project, restoring full runway operations 22 days ahead of schedule. Additionally, he guided the conception and implementation of Air Mobility Command's new sortie-based training syllabus, streamlining C-17 mobility readiness and ensuring the wing's air crew is prepared to encounter a near-peer adversary. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Lieutenant Colonel Thackerberry reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander, 62nd Operations Support Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Thackerberry. Good afternoon, everyone. I had good morning written down, but I had to scratch it because I was planning for tomorrow. Horseman, you're looking good out there. Please stand at ease uh, while I say a few words here. Colonel Faisenbaker, Colonel Collins, Colonel Sullivan, Chief Thompson, Chief Ald, Colonel Sasson, thank you guys all for coming out here. Uh, I appreciate everybody's flexibility. I'm never one uh, to complain about an extra day off, so I'm glad that we were all able to make it out today and we'll, hopefully most of us will enjoy a uh, three-day weekend. I want to start by thanking uh, Captain Morthorpe and uh, Mass Sergeant Missile for taking the lead on putting this event together. Also, Captain Hartsock for emceeing, and uh, Airman Connor O'Hare for singing the national anthem. That was great. Thank you. Uh, Airman Alvarado and Airman Ganey, thank you guys for proffering. Uh, I have no doubt that Airman Ganey would literally give me the shirt off his back because he just gave me the tie off his neck before starting this. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. And then also to Rose and her team and everybody else that took part in putting this together and especially the flexibility of moving it uh, at the last minute. It's truly been a tremendous privilege to spend the last 25 months leading the horsemen of the 62nd Operations Support Squadron. Never have I had the opportunity to be part of a more diverse squadron that worked so hard to provide full spectrum support around the clock and around the globe. Colonel Faisenbaker and uh, Colonel Kern and Colonel Stainpine before you, thank you for the opportunity and the confidence and the trust you put in me to lead this organization. Colonel Anaya and uh, Colonel Furman and Colonel Lankford previously. I appreciate all your mentorship and advice and also your unwavering support for the horsemen. That's three wing commanders and three group commanders I've had since I've been here. I don't know if I overstayed my welcome or they just couldn't find a way to get rid of me. But uh, speaking of threes, I've been extremely fortunate to have three amazing DOs, Matt Herzberg, Cage Hall, and now uh, Lieutenant Colonel Select Tim Ober. He's just finding out about that right now. I've also had three outstanding superintendents, um, Senior Sissel, Chief Cole, and Chief Hall, and then three spectacular first sergeants, Master Sergeant Field, Master Sergeant Munez, and now Master Sergeant Sahn. My DOs, superintendents, and shirts have always kept me afloat when I find myself uh, kind of over my head. They always had patience and steered me in the right direction with expert advice that they've gleaned from their years of experience. And I want to thank our squadron, the horsemen, for their service. Whether it was reopening the airfield at midnight on New Year's Eve to launch emergency missions to the Middle East, or our tower, weather, and airfield management folks continuing 24-7 ops throughout COVID, while much of the squadron and the wing were afforded the flexibility to spend some time being safe and working from home. You guys were out here, and I appreciate that. I want to thank the horsemen for their excellence. Our intel shop was the number one in AMC. We had civilians in AFE and AM ops win MAGCOM and Air Force level awards, and also countless other team accord and wing and group awards. I want to thank the OSS uh, for your perseverance. When I took command in May of 2019, our runway was closed, and the OSS had AFE, Intel, Current Ops, Crewcom, and ATC 
spread across the West Coast at four different operating locations. Just eight months later, as uh, Colonel Anaya mentioned, we were forced to close our runway here, and this time it wasn't planned. With a huge effort by airfield management and with the help of CE and our joint base team, we were able to be back launching and recovering aircraft within 48 hours. And then our readiness flight and our current ops team, they've rolled with the punches to continue to plan and coordinate quarterly EAS deployments and TACC missions, despite the ever-changing ROMs, rules, and restrictions resulting from COVID-19. I want to thank my squadron for their, innova their innovation. Wing training developed and fielded sortie-based training, which I have no doubt will soon be the standard for C-17s across AMC. Our wing tactics work fast on behalf of the whole MAF to develop and draft a C-17 ACE CONAM. AFE has fielded new ALIPS, enhanced NVGs, and now new parachutes to, include, to ensure that our crews have the best equipment while they go out and fly in combat. SEER developed a unique urban evasion exercise that they do in Tacoma to better prepare our crews for real world scenarios. And our harm shop is now developing a process to help the group transition to global reach. I also need to thank my awesome commander support staff, Jeanette, Carly, Norma, Dolores, Miles, Cal, you're the ones who really keep the squadron running. And then of course, my execs, uh, Brandon, John, Rich, Alicia, Alex, Nick, Chuck, Ronnie, and David. You guys have really kept me out of trouble and you work like crazy to support the horsemen and they don't always see it and you continue to fly missions and support your squadrons. While the horsemen do have more than 180 active duty assigned and on loan personnel serving selflessly every day to support the mission, our secret weapon is truly our almost 50 professional civilians who work to provide the expertise and the continuity across all eight of our flights. I wish I could name each and every one of you because you all deserve recognition for your, the service that you provide. I do wanna uh, point out a couple though, Mort, Lowell, ER, and Jen, I had to draw a cut line somewhere and I figured I might as well go with the ones that still continue to answer my calls late in the evening and on weekends throughout the two years I've been here. And I think more it's only charged me overtime for about half of those calls. My fellow uh, OG squadron commanders, Susie, Kyle, and Ellen, and before that, Josh, Jamil, and Sean, your friendship has made this experience survivable and enjoyable. Thanks for always being there. And the other commanders in the wing and the joint base, it's really been great to get to know you and work alongside you. Thanks for all the support you've provided me and also the horsemen. I wanna thank my family, my mom and dad. Thanks for helping me become the person I am today. Tim and Liz, with three brothers serving and 17 years in, it's great over the last two years uh, to finally live close to one. Thanks for all the help you guys have provided. To Jane's parents, Bill and Deborah, thank you guys for making the trip out to share this special day with us. And then finally, last but certainly not least, Jane, Caitlin, and Ian. You guys have sacrificed a lot to help support uh, my career and this crazy Air Force journey. And I know that the last couple years have been especially difficult uh, sharing me with 277 new family members in the Horsemen. But thank you for your understanding and for always being there. Hopefully I'll get to stay home a little more on our next adventure. And then Jeff, Jackie, and Henley, you're about to have the privilege of working with some of the best airmen that I've met during my time in the Air Force. I can't take credit for all the good things that this amazing team has done, but I'm confident you have everything you need to take the reins, and I really look forward to hearing about the continued success of the horsemen. Thank you everyone for coming out on such short notice, and I hope you all have a great long weekend. Thank you, Colonel Thackberry. The 6-2nd Operations Support Squadron will now render a final salute to Lieutenant Colonel Thackberry. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the change of command. Attention to orders. 
by order of the Secretary of the Air Force and under the provisions of Air Force Instruction 51-604, Lieutenant Colonel Thackerberry relinquishes command and Lieutenant Colonel Henderson is appointed commander of the 62nd Operations Support Squadron, McCord Field, Joint Base Lewis-McCord, Washington. Special Order Number G201906, effective 17 June 2021. Please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Colonel Anaya, it is my pleasure to introduce the newest commander of the 62nd Operations Support Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel T. Jeff Henderson. Squadron at ease. Thank Thank you for being here and thank you for representing the squadron uh, in the formation. I really appreciate you guys uh, viewing this in the most uh, uncomfortable way. I appreciate it. Colonel Fazenbaker, sir, uh, thank you for the opportunity to command. Uh, it's a, this is a dream job and a dream location uh, and I can't wait to get after our, our mission with you. Colonel Collins, chief, uh, looking forward to, to serving with you guys. Thank you for being here. Colonel Naya, sir, thank you for your trust and confidence. Uh, and for officiating today's ceremony. You've made this change uh, pretty smooth and, and easy, and, uh, and I appreciate uh, all that you'll do for, uh, for the horsemen in the future. Uh, Colonel Sasson, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to be joining an awesome ops maintenance team um, and can't get, wait to get after our mission with you. Colonel Sullivan, uh, Chief, thank you guys for coming. I'm uh, happy to be part of Team Accord. Fellow squadron commanders, uh, super excited to be joining uh, such an awesome team. You guys have made me feel welcome from, from day one, so uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Looking forward to serving with you guys. Thack, uh, you've been incredibly uh, generous in getting me up to speed, and it's indicative of how much you care about the, the horsemen uh, and the, the pride in you take uh, in this squadron. So, and it speaks to just your, your character as a human being. So it, you've set a very high bar for me, um, and. Thank you for all you've done for the horsemen, uh, and thank you for all that you've done for me personally. I greatly appreciate it. Shirt, I've already come to uh, greatly appreciate your counsel and, uh, and perspective. Thanks for choosing to continue to serve with me and uh, for being up here or over there uh, on the stage today. Uh, to the entire team that put this together, uh, Ronnie, David, and others, thank you guys for being here and for doing this. Uh, Grandma, it's awesome to have you out here. Thank you for making the trip up. Um, it's Truly great to be able to share this with you. Mom, Dad, I love you guys. Uh, you guys provided me with my, my first and probably most enduring uh, example of great leadership. And so I'm taking that with me um, where I go and I, I strive to live up to your example. Jackie, Henley, uh, these flowers are, are just a small token of uh, my appreciation for, for you guys and coming on this journey with me and for um, all that you've done and, and will do. Uh, Jackie, I simply couldn't do this without you. Um, thank you. Henley, you're such a cool, hardworking, um, awesome kid. I'm glad to have you on this journey with me, and thank you for sharing this with me. Finally, and most importantly, to the men and women of the 62nd OSS, uh, I'm incredibly excited to be here and honored to, uh, to have the opportunity to serve with each and every one of you. I absolutely love our mission and the quiet professionalism that comes with it. There was a former OSS commander that once said, uh, the OSS is kind of like oxygen. And so it's, it supports you, it's, it's your lifeblood, you don't notice it until it's not there and that's the only thing you want when it's gone. Uh, and that, that embodies the, the OSS. Your often invisible fingerprints are all over these jets uh, that fly the, the American flag and McCord tail flash on every continent on this globe. Uh, and I take 
uh, great pride in that. And I hope you guys too. And uh, you guys rock. And I feel so lucky to be joining the team. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Henderson. The 6-2nd Operations Support Squadron will now render their first salute to Lieutenant Colonel Henderson. The 62nd Operations Support Squadron will now present Lieutenant Colonel Henderson with his first 62nd Operations Support Squadron coin. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us in the singing of the Air Force song and remain standing for the departure of the official party.